welcome back to my channel guys i hope you're all well happy new year i know we're a few weeks into january and it's almost february probably be february when i upload this video but happy new year just so i've said it hope you're all good hope you had a lovely christmas and having a good start to the new year i thought i would just pick up the camera today and start the vlog i've had my breakfast as you will have seen and i'm just sort of having a bit of a life admin kind of day i'm booking some appointments i'm decluttering my computer deleting camera cards just all that sort of stuff just trying to get ahead of myself and sort myself out the first couple of weeks of january is always very hard i struggle with january i'm not gonna lie um it's gloomy it's just horrible i try my best to see the good things in january and there are a lot of things like cozying up in the t front of the telly at night um keeping warm inside getting out while the sun is out for dog walks and stuff i'm trying i'm trying to eat healthily i'm trying my best but some days i'm just it drains me so bear with me um i am a spring summer person at heart i'm just clearing my laptop up i'm just doing the new update on my phone um, I've cleared all my files that I don't want on my laptop anymore. I'm having a little bit of a new year clear out and I've just made myself a mood board as well. So this is my mood board. I just make them on Canva but um, there's just a few. I haven't got loads of goals this year because we're getting married and that's quite a big thing. So there's not like materialistic goals as such. There's more like career goals and stuff. Obviously I've got the wedding on here. Um, just a couple of quotes to remind me to get out of bed mainly. Um, take care of myself and my body um, manifesting some stuff I want to do more with friends I feel like last year I just didn't see my friends enough and it's shit so I, this year I want to make sure I see my friends um, mainly on here you will see lots of flowers I want to really push my business this year we're doing fresh flowers and dried I want to do mar more market stalls potentially I might open a shop one day, so this is on here. Not Oh, are you? <laughs> Honeymoon. Don't know where we're going yet, but we'll definitely go away somewhere this year. Haven't been on holiday for like five years. I have, you can't really see up here, but I've got like a MacBook and I want to get back into my YouTube and stuff. So yeah, just a um, little mood board. I make one every season, really. This is like my life goals. This one here. Um, it's got like a farm, huge greenhouse, chickens, living in the countryside, and just making my sort of floral business a thing. So that is my like all year round mood board, but I thought I'd do like a seasonal one as well. So this is that. Oh, I'm the, I want to dye my hair back brown, I think. I haven't had it brown for years. She did like a bit of a root smudge on it last year i think it was um but it just wasn't the right color and i didn't like it so i just ended up going back blonde but i want to do like my natural color is dark brown so um i think i'm gonna do that i really i just keep seeing girls with really nice dark brown hair and i want i'm just sick of the blonde loads of people are going to be like no don't do it but i just i've had it for years and i feel like i need a refresh so that is at the start of january um I've got, I feel like I can't really get going, but I've got an operation at the start of February and until that's gone, I just can't get going. Um, it's nothing major, don't worry. I, um, I've got endometriosis, so I'm having a, I think it's a lapro laparoscopy, is it called? Probably too much information, but they like scrape away all the scar tissue. So until that is out of the way and um, I know that I'm healthy, I feel like I can't really get going with this year, so... I'm sort of not wishing away the month, but I'll be glad to see the back of January and the start of February. So yeah, those are my goals this year. I think all the things on my current mood board are achievable. But yeah, just sort of carry on from last year, really. It was quite successful towards the end of the year, the whole flower business. So I want to sort of um, carry that on into 2024. Let me know what your goals are. I don't really set New Year's resolutions because I set myself up for failure. I just don't do them. So <laughs> if I can just have a few goals sort of floating about that's more achievable for me sorry if you can hear snoring dogs are fast asleep down here why is your leg so long <laughs> oh 
they are out for the count. I don't know what this video is going to contain. We're going to do a bit of a new year reset. I'm trying to eat healthily because I took my um, wedding dress to get altered the other day and I pigged out over Christmas. So now I'm on like the new year healthy thing. Um, not going mad, still treating myself. I don't ever follow a diet because I don't believe in them. I just feel like I can make a few little tweaks and um, see the benefits. So I'm trying the whole savoury breakfast thing to stop. Apparently if you have a sweet breakfast, you just get an, you get a blood sugar spike and then you're sort of drained come the afternoon. And I find it's really helping to have a savoury breakfast. It stops that sugar spike and then feeling sluggish come sort of two, three o'clock, which I really struggle with. So yeah, that's been going well. I feel like I'm getting so much more veg into my diet as well not eating as much meat so um, I'm going to try and carry that on through the year and see how I go but yeah those are all the updates really I'm going to stop rambling because this is probably like a 10 minute intro but welcome to the vlog bed sheets there's nothing oh quite like climbing into bed some fresh bedding other than it's a bastard to make a king size bed on your own wish i had a wide angle lens to show you but this looks like heaven right now and i just want to dive into it that was a mission it's like an actual workout right next job is finish tidying this bedroom because it looks like a bomb has hit it oh <laughs> came across a few bits that I've thrifted recently so I thought we'd just sit down and I put it in this video rather than making a separate video. If you do want to see more thrift hauls this year let me know. I did put out a bit of a, was it a poll or was it just a question? I can't remember on my community tab to see what you guys do want to see from me this year. Do let me know because it's super helpful. Some of it's from Vinted, some of it's from Charity Shop. As I'm taking out the wash, wash basket and putting it away I thought I may as well show you. Um, I haven't worn these yet and I got them at the end of last year I think but because it's winter I feel like no one really wears white jeans maybe they do maybe it's just me oh god my battery's flashing here we go I picked up these um, white sort of mum style jeans and they've got a distressed bottom now I think it's probably the same across the UK but British Heart Foundation now stock like Zara seconds so these were originally Zara, but I can't see anything wrong with these. They're really nice jeans. They fit like an absolute dream. Um, but like I said, I haven't worn them. I will get so much more wear out of them in the spring. So really looking forward to wearing those. And I think they were something ridiculous, like four pounds. Um, Zara jeans are really expensive, aren't they usually? So definitely check your British Heart Foundation if you're from the UK. I know a lot of my subscribers are US, but those of you that do watch in the UK, make sure you check them out and I really like the rose gold hardware on them as well just to add something a little bit different I think this was from the same shop this was actually a nighty like a really oversized it almost looked like a hospital gown <laughs> but I just love the pattern of it and if you follow me on Instagram you probably saw me turning this into a top but it was like maxi length and I really like it it's just something about it. It's got like little bell sleeves. It reminds me of something Dams and Madder would sell. Uh, it's got like this lace up front and then it's um, Velcro. My mum turned this up for me and uh, did it on her sewing machine because I'm useless at sewing. But yeah, I love it. I think it was about two pounds. I loved wearing this last summer. It was so floaty and airy and just really nice and lightweight. Um, it's got like this quilting, don't know how well you'll be able to tell, but quilting detail around the neck. I love this, just chucked on with a pair of jeans. I think it just sort of elevates the outfit. It's a love or hate Marmite item. From a brand called Carriage Court, 
never heard of it before but it sort of looks vintagey and i'll do the last of the charity shop stuff and then i'll do the vintage bits afterwards i couldn't believe it when i saw this this is the sort of thing h&m and um, zara top shop would do for sort of 40 pound plus and i got this for a pound and it's this gorgeous chocolate brown maxi sort of silk dress i don't think it is silk i think it's probably just satin or something haven't tried it on yet so i don't know whether it fits but i couldn't leave it there if it doesn't fit i'll probably just sell it on vintage um i think it's vintage it says additions on the label but i love this so much i just think belted and sort of ruched at the waist a bit with some trainers denim jacket for the spring I think it's a really nice luxurious looking piece i love dark brown i think it's a really nice alternative to black so uh, check out your charity shop nightwear sections because that's what i got both those pieces from there and they're usually so so cheap then from vintage i was on the lookout for a leopard print dress now i'm not sure this is what i wanted i got it haven't worn it since mainly because it's too cold but i think if i don't wear it in the spring i will resell it um, and i was just looking for a maxi leopard print dress this has got like tiered bottom to it ruched neck which is slightly weird i wanted just like a sort of crew neck um i thought you could maybe wear it off the shoulders but it doesn't stretch that far um it's originally from warehouse i think it was five pounds something like that i saw basically i saw a girl um wearing one she got this on uh, one of those like cream fleece gilets and a pair of trainers and she looked really cool but Obviously it's not warm enough to wear that at the moment, so I haven't recreated that outfit, but when it is warm enough to wear that, I will crack this out. Um, it's quite a weighty, sort of stretchy material. I wanted cotton, but I couldn't find anything on there um, that I wanted, but I will try and style this up um, and show you what I mean, but I really liked it. I just Some leopard prints I hate, other leopard prints I, I really like so um yeah i quite like this this pattern and the size of it and then i wanted just a cream silk blouse for sort of meals out who did i see in one i think it was lydia millen had a cream silk blouse on it obviously she's so much smarter than me and i got this one off vintage for two pounds i believe two pound fifty it's really nice it's vintage and it's got this sort of like embroidered front to it it's silk it's lovely and then with that came like a bow tie right no it wasn't Lydia Millen it was Jade Co Jade Holland Cooper they sell one like this but obviously out of my budget and just for something to try out I didn't want to spend that much money and not like it so this goes around the neck really hard to show you but I will style it and show you but I just think with a pair of sort of high-waisted leather jeans um, some mum jeans could look really cool on a night out just for like a meal or something it's valentine's day soon so i might crack that out if we go out at all but for £2.50 it's just a nice staple to have in your wardrobe and then finally from vintage this was my buy of last year i absolutely love this and i've got so much wear out of it it's from the lorna lux collection in the stuff that she did within the style and it's this gorgeous green bodysuit I've worn this so much. We're rapidly losing light, so I'm going to have to speed through this. I've put the bedroom light on, but it's so yellow. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, vintage. Every time I wear this, I get so many compliments, and people can't believe that I got it for like £4. So it's from the Lorna Lux collection ages ago. Um, I don't even think she does them within the style anymore, but it's got a little cutout in the back. Um, I just wear this for jeans. I feel like I say that about everything. Everything I wear is with jeans. Um, but yeah, really nice sort of going out, cash, like smart cash sort of outfit. And it's just this gorgeous emerald green. It's picking up a little bit blue on camera, I think, because it's almost dark outside. But love, love, love that. So happy with it. One more slip dress because I'm obsessed with them. Again, from the um, nightwear section in the charity shop a pound and it's this little it's almost like a yeah, sort of mint green color i don't know if this is going to pick up at all and it's got little darker green spots on sort of midi length it has got like this lace detail on the top i might cut that out um i don't know it's kind of cute but 
not really me it's a little bit girly i wore this at christmas with like a big cream jumper over the top it looked really nice and can't go wrong for a two pound one pound can't even remember how much it was maxi dress well maxi it's midi but um bargain and that's it for charity shops i've got my new trainers here so i may as well <laughs> show you those i treated myself over christmas because I hadn't bought myself a Christmas present. I kind of regret buying them because I'm now skinned, but I've been seeing so many people wearing the Adidas Samba trainers and I got massive FOMO and felt like I was missing out. So, so I bought them for myself and they go with absolutely everything. If you're looking for a smart trainer with a little bit of an edge um, that goes with everything, jeans, wide leg trousers, skirts, shorts, maxi dresses, midi dresses, anything knitted dresses these look really good with i just can't rave about them enough they're worth the money i think they were 90 sort of pounds around that mark but cost per wear i'm just going to get so much wear out of these so yeah that is my little impromptu um haul charity shop haul with a pair of trainers thrown in at the end that aren't from the charity shop i need to go and charge this battery and this lighting is making me look about 100 years old also if my teeth look really yellow through that whole video. I had a curry last night and I couldn't brush my teeth afterwards and put my brace straight in on top and it stained my brace. It's like, it's yellow. But I can't change my brace till a few days time because it's not time yet. So, I haven't got dirty teeth. My brace is just stained with curry powder. <laughs> no one needed to know. Good morning. I completely forgot to finish the vlog. I got carried away tidy in the bedroom and then had tea and forgot to finish the vlog so I'm just jumping on here to finish it um hope you enjoyed it sorry it was a little bit slapdash all over the place let me know what you do want to see on this channel this year it would be super helpful and I will see you in my next video bye guys Bye.